using anti-lift devices. Remember, Blogger Mesh recommends that its products are handled and installed by a minimum of two people and that installers should wear mandatory personal protective equipment required for the site, including gloves. For information about setting up basic mesh fencing and using blocks and couplers, see video number one in this series. There are various ways to secure your mesh fencing, from simple anti-lift attachments to ballast blocks. For help in choosing the best solution for your application, call your Block and Mesh representative or the technical sales team at blockandmesh.com. The anti-lift device is a galvanized steel bracket designed to prevent temporary mesh fencing from being lifted from fence feet, providing additional stability and security. Anti-lift devices are installed before the fence panels. Place the anti-lift device under the end of the rubber blocks as shown. The fence panels should now be placed in the front hole. Now remove the nut and plate from the bottom coupler and pass the bolt through the anti-lift device as shown. Reattach coupler plate and nut and tighten to secure the anti-lift device. Repeat along the fence line until installation is complete. Block and Mesh is a market leading manufacturer, supplier and installer of temporary fencing, site holding and barriers. For further information or to see the full range of bracing options available, go to blockandmesh.com.